For as long as anyone can remember, we have speculated about the long-term effects of discrimination. Through what lengths have we gone to to seek the origin of this type of oppression? Many have endured unspeakable hardships in order to overcome the defunct grip of control by the opposite sex. But what we don't hear about are the services of women who pose as men to master the ways of male dominance firsthand. The most recent story is that of the President of the University of America. Donald Schmuckervelt was born to her mother in 1970 as Megan Keegan. Keegan's mother, Frances Keegan, was an avid feminist and wanted her daughter to live a life of meaning and service, so she donated her to the organization known as Ooga Booga. Ooga Booga is an elite group of women who have been trained for centuries to pose as men in order to infiltrate the widespread ranks of various world powers. The society was founded in part by Ooga, Booga, and their brother Mo. Some 100,000 years ago, these cave women found that if they behaved like men, they could do whatever they wanted, they no longer had to care for other men or bear their children, and they could sit around and drink beer all day. We no longer had to follow painstaking beauty rituals or bathe the family mammoth in a bikini on Saturday morning. This group, Ooga Booga, went unnoticed until 2010 when President Schmuckervelt was exposed by an insurgent. Miss Kuki Wackoff worked closely with President Schmuckervelt for years as his secretary. Wackoff, an undercover woman, was working for the federal government. She was the ultimate reason for the unveiling of Keegan's efforts to enforce her feministic agenda in the academic system. We were lucky enough to meet with Kuki Wackoff, and I asked her about the view on the scandal. What are your views on the Ooga Booga, Miss Wackoff? We have to stop these feminist degenerates. Women should be at home, not in the office. Unless, of course, you're a secretary. How do you feel about the influence of the federal government in the fight against inequality? Well, I think the Bush administration were stand-up guys who genuinely care about this nation and the American people. And you can take that to the bank. Clearly, from the viewpoint of people like Kuki Wackoff, as feminists, we are heading in the wrong direction. But to people like the girl pictured here, we are much too late. Does this mean we should feel sad for a moment and then forget about those who are less fortunate? Or should we stand and fight? After all, you can't win them all, right? For some, we are far from inequality, but it is evident in our smiles that the efforts of the Ooga Booga have helped us immensely, and for that effort, we thank you.